ready. what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back let me turn my mic down it's super loud anyways yes thank you so much for tuning in once again you guys have been supporting these videos man these slam dunk reactions um on another level on another level i am grateful i am grateful for sure so thank you guys once again for doing that keep hitting that like button man whatever you need to do to support the channel love the comments and everything um i'm not gonna be right about everything you know um so i'm glad that we have people who know you know certain things that can give me you know insight or another insight into certain things that i talk about and i'm always willing to listen and in any case we have the match going on right now Rionin versus kainan a lot of people is saying that you know kainan is based off of the lakers um shoku is based off of the bulls and all these different inspirations where wherever the author got his inspirations from you know it's all good it's all good we can sit down and compare these players i really don't want to get into like you know who they modeled the characters after and stuff like that so to kind of judge the characters for who they are in the in the anime because then i don't want to have expectations you know what i'm saying like i expect them to be like this now because they modeled the character after after um after this particular player because these are players that you know i grew up watching and stuff like that. when you talk about magic johnson kareem dennis rodman michael george michael jordan um scotty pippen and all these players from these old you know what i'm saying old school players and it's good to know that the author modeled these characters or is writing based on these real life players um but at the same time, I don't want to get too much into that because it might ruin my expectation of these players and what I expect to see from them if they're modeled after these characters. So it's good to know. I just, it's just that every, pretty much every video, I see it now where somebody is commenting and saying, oh, this is who this is modeled after. Uh, um, as I said, I don't mind. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I don't mind. I just wanted to stop <laughs> i just wanted to stop but i'm not telling you guys that if that's how you feel like you need to support the video then that's fine um but i also don't want to start ignoring the the um the comments because of that because it might screw up my thoughts it's really my problem really <laughs> you know what I'm saying? it's really my problem but anyways guys um we have that match going on um i love when you guys correct me about stuff that i say like the you know me thinking that maki is the number one in the country and stuff like that that was just me misspeaking of course um but other than that great stuff thank you guys so i am going in for a long session today it's been a while since i did a super reaction on the channel this is that day so i'm planning to drop at least four episodes for this first reaction um here that's gonna be on youtube and then i might do an extra four for early access or i might just drop two extra on early access but i am going in for a long session of recording right now but in any case guys let's jump in and i will see you guys for the review all right so that was episodes i don't even know what i did honestly what is it 64 i think it's 64 through 67 yeah cool beans yeah good stuff good stuff man slam dunk 
is one of those animes right now that I just I, I want to binge watch, but I can't. So it's it's definitely sometimes you're gonna see me upload more episodes than usual, um, because between Slam Dunk and um between Slam Dunk and Monster, <laughs> right? Two anime that I'm really enjoying right now. It's only two animes I'm doing on the channel because I'm not doing anything modern. Um, I know some people are waiting for Jojo to come back, but I'm still on hiatus with with Jojo. I'm I'm taking a break from from Jojo's. Um, uh, we'll come back with Diamond is Unbreakable, which is going to be um, I heard it's way better than the first three parts. It's a lot of people's favorite part of the anime. So we'll see how that go. I am, however, reacting to a, to to some other modern animes in the background that you guys don't know about um you know i've talked about it before um so i will be releasing those very soon i'm just waiting to fig you know to finish finish up a couple more episodes um actually i i think jujutsu kaisen is i think if that was his final episode of the season i'm i'm not sure but um Definitely, definitely, Jujutsu Kaisen is like shonen madness. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm hope I'm hoping that it doesn't turn into another Dragon Ball Z. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm hoping that it doesn't. Like, if you enjoy entertaining martial arts fights, hand to hand combat, animation, Jujutsu Kaisen is the shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, same thing with um god of high school um same thing but at the same time it's like there's a lot of things in god of high school that i i don't really rock with you know what i'm saying you guys will see when i when you see my reactions to it and what my thoughts on the things they could have done better i think they rushed too much into fighting and it just didn't feel like they took their time to build up a story this is the first season of the 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 show and also i heard also that they left out a lot of the stuff from the source material they should have just took their time did a 24 episode like a 24 episode for a season um i think that's what they should have did but we're not here to talk about that stuff slam dunk four episodes we just watched um i was a little bit worried there about coach anzai for 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 a little bit um, thought he died Hanamichi um, kind of this affected him more than I expected it to and it's because of him losing his pops to basically the very same thing you know and it, I know he probably blames himself for it I know that he probably blame, blames himself I thought that Mitsui would have been the most affected by this but it's actually sakuragi that got that it affected him more and that's basically because of what happened to his pops so i totally understand um that much so now they have to play this game against um Ryonin without their coach um i think they can pull it off i'm gonna be cheering for them even though i was cheering for Ryonin to win that game against um against kainen um, kind of is a strong team they're not just about a couple of players they are a strong team because um, even the people that you don't expect to show up they show up don't like you know what I'm saying um, is it Kiyomi I think his name is um, I don't really like him he's too over the top like he's worse than Sakuraki like on some levels you know what i'm saying i think he you know what i'm saying if he's under pressure he doesn't show up as much as you would expect to he's just in some ways he just as i told you guys um i think i told you guys that he reminds me of <laughs> he reminds me of russell westbrook a lot is is all hype but he'll never win a championship <laughs> you know but um, this is his first year. So, I mean, he's with a strong team, so 
is it, there's the difference between him and Russell Westbrook because what's Russ, Westbrook has never really been on a strong team in my opinion, um, like a over the top team like say when Durant went to Golden State, like he played with Durant and they had a strong team at the time. They still had Stephen Adams at the time if I if I recall very well, um, but it's just is. It's just the energy just reminds me of how Russ was rest book move. And I think Russell does want to win a championship. I don't think at this point he's won he's won a he's won MVP, right? He's a triple double master, right? And he's he's ha he has the accolades to get to the Hall of Fame, right? So he's definitely probably going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer if he doesn't win a championship. But at the same time, it's just you want to see guys like that who has basically done something so spectacular, average a triple double for multiple seasons, and then they can't get a chip. And a lot of times, like for me, for me as a fan of basketball, if you're not winning championship, it's just like how I've said to people, um, if you haven't won on the world stage, as in that's the marker for like football soccer right that's the marker for for me where i judge and be like messi can't be the greatest of all time cristiano ronaldo can't be the greatest of all time none of them is what none of them has won a world cup and for me you know what i'm saying a lot of people that hold pele in the highest of regards right he won a world championship. He won a world championship against the world, right? So people who has won on the big stage, you get what I'm saying? On the biggest stage in their sport. And I think the World Cup is the biggest stage in football. It's not the European League. It's not the English League. It's not any of these other leagues, okay? The biggest stage for football. And I know plenty of you guys would agree with me is the World Cup football, right? That is the ultimate play. If you can win that, you can be considered the greatest of all times. Now, there are plenty of people that have won World Cups and they go on to be, and they're average players. That doesn't mean we can put them as a um, you know, as a, you know, a big time football player or anything like that, I'm saying if you can dominate, you know, in a, you know, like on a league level, right? If you can dominate on a league level, say you win multiple European cups and the, um, UEFA cups and, you know, you, you're, you're on it just like you know, Ronaldo, just like Messi, Neymar, these guys are dominating the sports right now. If you dominate a sport, make tons of money, you're great, win, you know, player of the year, all these accolades, right? I feel like, in my opinion, a lot of people, they take it out of the equation. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people, they take it out of the equation um to say that Messi is the greatest of all times and I still even though I feel like you know what I'm saying that he has done so much to prove that and he's never really have a good Argentinian team to play with there were plenty of times where I've seen Messi take over in Barcelona why you can't do that on the world stage why you don't do that on the world stage? You get what I'm saying? It, it just doesn't equate to me why he can exhibit that kind of skill on the football field by being a one-man army, right? In league competition. Then when he gets to the World Cup, I mean, don't get me wrong. They have gone far in the World Cup before. I think they got to a semifinals and lost um, one time. Um, and I think that's really like if he had won a World Cup, I would give it up and be like, he's the greatest of all time because he's done so much more 
than say a Pele. Um, I still consider Ronaldinho to be a better football player than Ronaldo and Messi, but that's just my opinion. You get what I'm saying? That's just me. I feel like Ronaldinho had skills that none of these two guys had. He was a more dominant player on the football field. He may not have achieved as much as they achieved or made as much money as they made, but to me, he was better than them. But that's just my opinion. A lot of people, they can bring up all kinds of stuff, but that's just what I'm saying. When it comes on to certain players, I just feel like, you know, by themselves, they couldn't carry a team to do anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? So they just have to have backup. Um, super teams is something that is probably going to be adapted into soccer very soon. I mean, nowadays you have um, Mbappe and freaking Neymar praying together. And I'm like, you know what I mean? So it, it, I was actually surprised to find out that they actually um, played together now. So that was pretty cool to find out. Um, I don't follow soccer religiously like, you know, some people do. Um, but when it, when it comes on to this, this show, man, Slam Dunk, it really puts a lot of things about sports into perspective for you. And, and for all you guys that have never played competitive sports, I can tell you for sure, man, it's an experience and I'm definitely getting into it when it comes on to this because basketball is like my favorite sport these days. So I really do appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. This is your boy Terabyte Reacts, man. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. We're on to the next one. Um, Rionan versus Shoku. Hopefully Shoku can pull this off and because they can't afford to lose this. <gasps> if they lose, some of these guys going to have to find jobs because, you know, they're just going to graduate, go to college or whatever. <laughs> um, they're just going to have to find some jobs, man. But anyways, thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.